Hey guys, it's Kendra, and today I have a Vitacost haul for you. If you can tell, I'm in a different side of the room. So I have a ton of things in here. Whoop. Ranging from food, makeup, everything. There also will be a giveaway at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. I have a lot, a lot of Pacifica products. The last time I was placing an order, I saw that they were carried there now, and I went a little crazy. So I have some perfumes and makeup, and I... I'm just so excited to test them out and smell them. So let's get into this. So first up we have some tea. I have been so into tea lately. I've not really been wanting coffee, so I've just been drinking tea and I find that I have a lot more energy. I I just feel a lot better now. So I'm sticking with tea, so I wanted to get a couple new ones because I've been drinking the same ones over and over. It's by um, Organic India, and it is their Sweet Rose. It says, stress relieving and magical. It's caffeine free, and uh, I heard about this one from Shannon from Glamour Wonderland. So in here there is chamomile, rose, lemon, there's some stevia in here, and then organic Tulsi. I don't even know what Tulsi is, but... Um, I feel like I should know that because that's what this tea is. We will see how that goes. I have heard really good things. I had really good reviews too. I also got some jasmine teas. These are both by Numi. And we have the jasmine green. And it's a green tea scented with real jasmine blossoms. This has medium caffeine. And then I got the jasmine, I don't know how to say this. Uh, pure, pure, pure. You know what I'm talking about. Um, I got that one and it says... Ancient healing tea packed with antioxidants and it has a higher caffeine. So I might, this is probably a good one to drink in the morning and then this one maybe in the afternoon. So I love jasmine teas. I think they're so delicious. So I got the Pacifica wipes. These are the Purify Coconut Water Cleansing Wipes Facial Towelettes. They are natural biodegradable towelettes, sulfate free and paraben free. And I haven't really heard much about these. Uh, let me know if you have tried these before. I will open them because I want to smell them. Oh man, they smell so good. Strongly of coconut, that's delicious. All right, I'm gonna try some of these perfumes. I think I got three. I have stuff all around me right now, okay. Um, so first we have the French lilac perfume. Here's what this looks like. It says, lilac, fresh green and jasmine-like blended with heliotrope and nectarine notes. It is alluring and romantic. These are all 100% vegan, they're cruelty free, free of parabens, phthalates, and propyl glycol. And that's something that made me really excited about these because uh, perfume's really not good for you, you know, to be Kyla. I wanted to give some perfumes a try that are more natural, that are better for me. I'm going to have just scents going all over the place. Oh, I like that. It's super light and real like a real floral scent, it's not fake at all. Perfect for spring, just like a true lilac. Like if you're walking outside, you walk past a lilac bush, that's what it smells like. It smells really good, it's not too powdery. I really like that actually. Next we have the Waikiki Peacocky, is that, what it's, is that how you pronounce it? This one is a blend of delicate sweet Hawaiian jasmine and sensuous velvety sandalwood is a tribute to old Hawaii in honor of the beloved princess. I'm gonna have just scents going everywhere. I like that one better. That one is like a watery scent. Fresh, light, clean. But the sandalwood makes it a little bit more woodsy. That's super nice. Okay, and then we have the gardenia. Gardenia is usually my favorite type of scent. This one is a heady vintage inspired blend of intoxicating gardenia, jasmine, orange flowers, tea leaves, and ylang ylang and it's supposed to be a symbol of love, unity, and grace. Mmm, that's good. It probably looks so weird smelling all these perfumes right now. I'm like, it smells of true gardenia. Again, like, w these are very outdoorsy scents. So, like, if you're, like, real scents, if you're walking outside and you pass gardenia, oh my gosh, this smells so much like Hawaii to me. I think I like this the best. I think it goes in order at, like, this one, then this one, then this one. But I like them all because they're very different. If you have other favorite scents from them, let me know. I was in Target yesterday and I was smelling the coconut lotion. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. So I might need to put that in my next order. Then I got two of their mascaras. So this one is Aquarian Glaze Water Resistant Long Lash Mineral Mascara. It has coconut kelp and vitamin B. And it's in the shade Abyss. Ooh, 
Again, why am I smelling the mascara? Okay, it has a bendy wand, which I really appreciate. And it's tapered, so it's kind of like a torpedo shape. And it has very tiny little bristles. And I honestly think I will really like... I like the brush, so we'll see how the formula is. But, um, like, first impression, I, I that looks like a mascara I would like. And then this one is called Stellar Gaze. Length and Strength Mineral Mascara with Coconut and Vitamin B. This is in the color Supernova. It says they have nourishing natural powers, long wear, and plush vegan brush. Oh, and this one is kind of like um, Bad Gal by Benefit, and it's a stiffer wand, but it has the natural bristle. So it's a little bit more like a L'Oreal Voluminous, just kind of like your traditional wand. Then I got a face wash by Pacifica. It is the complete face wash, removes makeup, cleanses, and tones with coconut water, sea algae complex, powerhouse antioxidants, sulfate free for all skin types. So this looked really, this looked really good. I will use this tonight, we'll see how this goes. 100% um, vegan, cruelty free, no petroleum, parabens, SLS, or phthalates. Next I got the, <laughs> so much Pacifica stuff, I told you. Pacifica Coconut Kiss Creamy Lip Butter. And it says lasting color and hydration. I got it in the color Stardust. And it says dreamy coconut infused, coconut infused creamy color for lips with supernatural ingredients, decadently rich, ultra hydrating, long lasting. It's kind of like tough. Maybe you have to look, warm it up a little bit, but it doesn't look, it's kind of clear. So um, let's put some on. Not very pigmented. Kind of tastes weird. Not the biggest fan of the scent so first off first like impression I wouldn't wouldn't recommend. like it feels nice but it smells kind of like fake I don't know I also got a uh, chapstick by my shell it's guava orange vanilla it says love your lips the world's greatest lip treatment with powerful antioxidants and I um, not tested on animals 100% bio biodegradable when I got this I think it was like nine dollars and I was so confused. I was like, why is it so expensive? But I don't know. Wait, was it $9? It might not have been that much. But for some reason, I was like, I'm, I'm just going to try it out. And then when I got it, I saw that it was just giant. So I was like, okay, yes. No wonder this was more expensive. Ooh, yes. This smells like a creamsicle. I'll put this on top. Mmm, I love that. Yes. Then I got a nail polish. It's the by Pacifica 7 Free Nail Polish 100% Vegan Cruelty Free. And I got in the shade... Pink Moon, which is just a really light, it's looking white on camera, really light pink, like baby doll pink. I've tried one of these actually, it was uh, like a yellow color and it came in one of my boxes and I really liked it, so hopefully that's a good opaque color. And then I got one of these new, I went lip crazy, EOS lip balms in coconut milk. These are 99% natural. I like these because they're gluten free, which is nice. They're also petroleum free and paraben free. This one's so cute. There might be one of those in my giveaway at the end of this video. Moving on to some food things. I got the Kind Oats and Honey Clusters with toasted coconut. This is such a good granola. It's delicious. I like eating this as a cereal just with almond milk or in yogurt. It's super good. It's non-GMO, gluten-free, low glycemic, just a all around good granola. Then I got some more of these Benito's chips. These are my all-time favorite chips. They are corn-free, they're made with white beans, and these are in the nacho cheese flavor, and they taste like Doritos. They're so good. So the first ingredient in these is whole navy beans. So they have a ton of different flavors, so just type in Benito's, and you'll they'll all come up. They're really good. So they have a lot of protein in here. And then we have some cereal. This is gluten-free. It's by Nature's Path. It's the Sunrise crunchy vanilla, so it has corn, rice, flax, quinoa, buckwheat, and amaranth, and that's what it looks like. I don't know if I've tried this before, I'm not, I'm not sure. It's really hard for me to buy like healthy gluten-free cereal at the store because they're like six dollars, they're so expensive, so I usually just wait and get them online. Now I have some things that you guys will, whoop, you will win if you enter this giveaway. So first, the Alba Botanica Even Advanced CC Cream. I have this right now and I love it. It's a really good moisturizer, but it gives you some coverage. So it's really good for the summer coming up. This will be like a quick step 
perfect for lazy days. This is in the shade Fair to Light. You will also get the Andalou Naturals Argan and Mint Lip Remedy. I have used this before. I don't know where it is now, but it's a really good lip product. It keeps your lips super moisturized. I like to use this at night. Also, one of the EOS Coconut Milk Lip Balms. One of these CSI Vivid Eyes Cucumber Eye Creams. This is what I use every morning. I love it. It gets rid of the puffiness under my eyes. It smooths out my under eyes. It is, it's just the best. And last, you'll get a giant thing of rose water. I like using these to set my makeup. I like using them when my skin feels tight in the middle of the day to give my skin a refresher. And I, I just use it for a lot of different things. So if you want to enter this giveaway, just look down in the info section. I will put all the rules down below so you can enter that. That's just as a little thank you guys for all the comments you guys leave me, you guys are the best. I feel like I have the best subscribers, but I just might be being partial, but I believe it. So that is it for today. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!